Hello my friends, welcome to the next lesson for this series. In this series, we will start creating our first model for our application. So here comes the question, what is a model? A model is a way of structuring our data in our application. How we are going to store pieces of data that our application needs. So considering our application, let me show you the application that we are building, the finished one, as you can see. Before you start creating your application, ask yourself what kind of data that you are going to use in your application. That is how we are able to create our models. Okay, so in this application, what data are we sending to the server? What you are doing is creating a book, okay? creating a book and create a book what do we have we have the category like that and we have an author and we have a book title so this piece of information make up one model in your application because it's different from other data that you are collecting right the next one is when you log out let me log out this application and go to register as you can see here we also have some pieces of information that our application needs and it's called users. And these users have name and email and then the password, which is different from creating a book. So in this case, our application needs two set of models. That is book model, which will have all the properties we need to create our book, and then users model. Okay, so that is how model is all about. So let me close all the files we did previously and then inside the back end um, folder, let's create one folder called models. Okay, so we can regard a model as a class in vanilla JavaScript. A class is a way of creating an instance of an object. Okay. So, for example, if you want to create a um, car class, okay, and for the car class, you can create other or different types of car based on the car class that we created. So, the same way as model, the model gives us a structure of a way of creating data. And this model has some let me say properties or functions that will first we say that okay in my application for this one for example when you're creating the user i need a name which is of length three or four okay and it's always required so all these things is done in the model okay we have to the model is an entrance a way that will allow our server to receive data Okay, so our model is, let me say, an intermediator between our application and the server. Okay, because before any data is created and is and stored inside the database, the model needs to check whether it passes all the requirement it needs. So without much talking, let's get started. So inside there, let's create one file called user. I prefer to make use capital letter because we are going to create an instance of a model. So I often regard this one as a class in JavaScript. So anytime you are creating a class, the first letter must be capital letter, right? This is not a convention, but that's how I like to structure it. So dot js. Okay. And since we are going to use mongoose, what do we need? We import mongoose from Mongoose package we installed. Next is let's create our schema. Okay, so what is schema? The schema is a blueprint. Okay, a blueprint out of the schema that we can get our model. So the schema will have some validation. We say, okay, the name must be four, the length of the name must be four, or the name is required. All these things might be set inside the schema. So this is how we do. So let's create a variable const called user schema. Okay, and equal to new instance of mongoose dot schema. And this is a function. Okay, 
that because you are creating an instance of mongoose schema so we pass in our configuration with an object and in there we have to state all the properties we need so now that we are creating users we need the name the email and the password so we need three things here okay so what do we need so first is what the name sorry the name okay in the name i can say the name might be string like that but if you do this one you don't have additional um properties for example if one the name might be the length of name might be four or required okay so because of that we have to create an object of name and state the type of name might be string right and is always required if you don't provide the name i will throw an error so let me show you so when i go to register and i type in register like let me go to register as you can see that it gives you an error that username is required so because i stated in my schema i said the name is required that is why i got this error i couldn't able to create that user okay so the next one i need is called email and an object and i will say the type must be string and it's also required true okay i don't want to make the schema complete i'll make it simple so you have additional validation that you can pass for example the max length or whatever you can use here but i want to make it simple okay so the next one is a password because we also need the password in our application so the type must be also string it can be number it can be boolean or whatever so here the password is a string and it's also required and i will set to true okay so next what do we need now that we have our schema we have to create our model okay and that's how we do it so we say cons which is a user capital letter is equal to mongoose dot model okay and here you pass in two parameters one is the name of the model okay so i'll prefer to use the capital letter user and then the next one is our schema which is user schema as that so now anytime you want to create a, a user you have to make an instance of user okay and you pass in all these properties inside so you have to make this file accessible so export user excellent so now that we have it now the next is we have to go to our route and start creating our first user so this is how we create a schema or a model in application so the same way we need for book we create the same structure for book but different properties so to recap a model is data structure in application how we are going to store our data and the schema is a blueprint of creating a user because the schema gives you all the validations that we need before you can create a user and we pass the uh, one argument one um, per variable called user here and we pass in our user schema for us to create our user model so this is how we create a user so guys, thank you for watching and then the next lesson we will start creating our first user.